Hello YouTube, Psycho Fox here. I'm showing a console today that I've owned for must be about three years. Uh, I've never shown it before. I do have a few games for it. And it is a Philips CDI 210. So not a console I ever owned back in the 90s. Could not afford one of these. They were ridiculously expensive and pretty rubbish as you may well know. So as you can see I've got the metal casing which is over there. Taking off the top of this one because it does have a few issues. It works fine but it's got a few issues that I'm uh, hoping to get ironed out. So yeah not a bad not a bad thing if you want to play video CDs but for games yeah pretty useless. What they did have is pretty crap. Not much effort went into them at all. Apart from a couple of good ones like Lemmings, maybe Chaos Control, Burn Cycle, other things just rubbish like the port of Micro Machines is awful. The NES version was better and considering this was meant to be the next generation of stuff, next generation of media player stroke games console, no, there's no excuses really, it is terrible. So let's have a little look inside the thing. So you've got your CD tray here and this one opens fine but it has a bit of trouble going backwards going back in so I think the, I've greased it all, I think the rubber belt rubber belt may need replacing and you've got your digital video cartridge installed here you can see there's a big panel on the back that's where that slots so there's not much in there really apart from that, there's a big empty space here, there's your power board and your main circuit board there with ribbon cables coming to the display at the front. So yeah, the main problem I had with it was I only bought it for 15 quid or so three years ago, but it had been glued, the front had been glued to the metal panel and insulating tape put over it because sometime in the past someone was dropped on its front and these little bits, little plastic tabs holding it to the metal frame had snapped and these, the whole metal frame actually on this side and here was bent right back on each side, bent back to right here. So it's obviously fallen from some height. Uh, still works, but wasn't cosmetically very good. So I've bent it all back. I've been trying to get this glue off, but it's super glue. It's been on there for like 15 years. There's no way that's coming off. So I'm going to have to sand that down and hopefully respray the very top portion of this. I've been soaking it in all sorts, there's no way of getting it off. So that's what I'm doing with the uh, console itself. I'll show you what games I've got for it. Not many, but Chaos Control, which is a rail shooter. Not too bad, really. Just using a cursor. It's not light gun compatible, unfortunately. There was a, I think it was called the Peacekeeper light gun available for the CDI but that's not compatible with it for some reason. This is, or you can use the pad, this is Thunder in Paradise which features an episode and you can play the game as well. Big sticker covering the screenshots. Not a brilliant game. So you're pretty much stuck between a rock and a hard place with this one. Do you watch the awful episode or do you play the awful game? It's a tough one. But at least in the episode you might get a bit of bikini action, so yeah, go for the episode. And there's another one, not really a game, not a game at all actually. Naked Gun 2.5, The Smell of Fear, Video CD. One of the good games on the system. Tetris. No sound effects, but some soothing music and nice backdrops. We've got Black Rain on uh, two CDs. Got Apocalypse Now on three CD on yeah three CDs. We've got Zelda's Adventure copy, Video Speedway copy. It will play backups, no problem. And Family Fun and Games One, which has got a whole he host of crappy games on. Yeah, not good at all. And finally, I've got the instruction manual. So I am going to pick up a couple more games for this because there are some I'd like to get. Just going to build up a little, it will be a little, a little library of good games. Saying good, 
a good game for CDI is pretty much an awful game for any other system. So, yeah. Just clean it up a little bit and pick up a few more games and I might do some gameplay sometime. Thanks for watching.